Okay guys, so I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about the new supers as well as the revamped old supers as some are staying. But before we go any further, hit that like button and leave a comment to be in with a chance of winning my weekly giveaway. Details are on screen now. Okay, so for those of you who watched the Destiny 2 reveal stream, you will have seen these new and revamped supers in action. So what do we have coming with Destiny 2? Well, we know we have the Warlock's new Dawnblade. We have the Titan's new Sentinel, and we also have the Hunter's kind of revamped Arc Blade, Arc Strider. These were the subclasses we saw them share on the reveal stream. Now because I was in LA, I got to record some live gameplay, and I can tell you guys that the Golden Gun is also returning, and so is the Titan Striker subclass. Now while I was in LA at the reveal, the only subclasses we could use while recording were the Hunter's Golden Gun, the Warlock's Dawnblade, and the Titan's Striker. So I could inspect these and get more details on them. The whole setup of supers now is way more simpler and in my opinion it's a lot better this way. On screen now we can see the Hunter's Gunslinger. So grenade wise we have the Swarm Grenade, the Trip Mine Returns and we also have the Incendiary Grenade. We then have the new third ability which is on every subclass. On the Gunslinger it's called Dodge which is basically the Shade Step from the Night Stalker. Now this new third ability has to recharge just like your melee and your grenade. But this third ability on every subclass you have a choice between two. The first one here is called Marksman Dodge which automatically reloads your equipped weapon when you use the dodge or you could use Gambler's Dodge. Dodging near enemies generates melee energy. We also have three jumps. High jump, strafe jump and triple jump. You can then see two more sections you can use. Here we have Wear the Outlaw. These two sections can't be both used at once so it's either the top or bottom. Both have great benefits though. On the top we have Chain of Wall, Bombs for Bullseye, Six Shooter which is definitely new. Golden Gun can now be fired up to six times and we also have Explosive Knives. Or you could use the bottom section, Section 2. This offers Knife Juggler, Gunslinger's Trance, Crowd Pleaser and line them up. So let's check out Dawnblade for the Warlock, the subclass believed to be taking the place of Sunsinger. Okay so the three grenades it offers are Firebolt Grenade, Solar Grenade and Fusion Grenade. For its third ability it has Healing Rift, press and hold circle or B to conjure a well of light that continuously heals those inside it. Or if you want you can use the Empowering Rift, press and hold circle or B to conjure a wall of light that increases the attack power of those inside it. Jumps we have Control Glide, we have Focus Burst and we have Balance Glide. And the remaining two sections offer, starting with the bottom section, we have Wildfire, Fire Starter, Blazing Dash and Everlasting Flames. Top section here which is called Attunement of Sky, it offers Igniting Torch, Risen Angel, Skyfire and Phoenix Dive. So let's check out the Titan's revamped Striker subclass. The three grenades it offers are Flash Round Grenade, Pulse Grenade and Lightning Grenade. Lightning Grenade has changed a little though. It's more like a trick mine so you throw it, it will attach to a wall and it kind of has a timer before it will actually chain off lightning. Giving the person you throw the grenade at a chance to get away. The third ability it offers is called Towering Barricade. A large barrier that can be used to cover or seal off dangerous areas for a short time. Or you could use Rally Barricade. A small barrier that allows you to peek over it while aiming down sights. And instantly reloads your equipped weapon when you take cover. Pretty damn badass. Jumps it offers increased height, increased control and catapult. Okay so for the two sections, the top section offers shoulder charge, aerial strike, magnitude and aftermath. The lower section, code of judgement offers frontal assault, trample, knockout and reversal. So a few changes there indeed. The main one though is the fact that Fist of Havoc is now a roaming super, meaning you can land more than one slam per super use. I've actually got footage of six or more slams from a single super which is crazy but obviously each slam is nowhere near as good as what the original Fist of Panic was nor does it cover the area that the old one did either now the other supers we know are definitely coming are the Titan Sentinel which is believed to be replacing the Ward of Dawn aka Bubble the Sentinel super gives you a shield you can melee with the shield, the shield can be thrown it can take out multiple enemies at the same time but it can also block incoming attacks for you and your teammates which is great 
Now, nothing has been said by Bungie about this replacing the Wall of Dawn, but I think it's highly unlikely that we will get two Void Supers on a single class character. Now, the other super we know is coming is the Hunter's Arc Strider. This is basically a revamped Arc Blade, but you now have, I believe, a Sword or Staff. Exactly what's on offer with the super is unknown as of yet, as no more details have dropped about it. I know though through studying footage you can dive bomb attack from mid air with an area effect when you slam the floor, just like a fist of panic. And that is it at the moment so far people, nothing has been mentioned by Bungie and no one else for sure knows what's coming super wise. The thing is though, what other super is the Warlock getting as we only know of the one so far? Well I can tell you guys it's the Nova Bomb. The Nova Bomb is 100% coming back. I literally went through um, the entire stream from yesterday, frame by frame, and got some footage of it in action. Now most people will be thinking that the Nova Bomb I'm talking about is the one Ikora Wraith throws before we lose our light. We also see Zavala use a Ward of Dawn before we also lose that light. But the footage I have, which you guys will see, is not Ikora, and it's way after we actually lose our light. Check it out on screen now. Now to me, you can see the difference. I mean, it's not exactly how it was before. It travels much slower. But interestingly, it seems to generate slightly larger Axiom Bolts on contact with an enemy. Whether you have to kill an enemy for these two spawn, I do not know. But what's the better they track you to? We also see a Void Warlock chucking a grenade, so yes for sure, the Nova Bomb is coming back. But the bigger question here is, are the Hunter's Night Stalker, the Warlock Storm Trance and the Titan's Hammers making a return? If I had to guess so, I would say no they ain't, but we will just have to wait and see. But guys, that is it for another video, hope it helped clear a few things up as to what's coming, what's replacing this, what's replacing that and what is returning. We can say for sure from now that the Warlock's Nova Bomb is definitely one making a return. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny, make sure you subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I upload. Thanks as always for stopping by and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get it right, left in the dark.